Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Alma De La Molina Cox. Today we're engaging in some practical creativity. I've made an easy project on the iPad to help focus the mind and gain awareness of our energy flow. You can make your own version on paper if you prefer. As I talked about in last week's video, our inner being is creating our experience of life. Let's be playful and think about her as our very own powerful genie. She is you and is always responding to your thoughts, your beliefs, your words, and your actions. She's always saying, your wish is my command, 24 seven. Here I'm using a font that came with the app Procreate as a jumping off point for my own handwriting. And I like to do this as a way to keep my spacing correct. And you'll see that I'll draw some guidelines as well. You are welcome to follow my lead or you can use whatever fonts that you enjoy. You might even consider downloading from dafont.com. It's a really great site with some fonts. In every moment, your powerful genie is saying a big yes to all of your joys, your fears, your desires, including what you don't want. Not because she's being mean or unfair or doesn't love you. She's just that generous, that abundant, that creative, and like I said, powerful. So you definitely want to align with her. I've created a statement that you can use and you can print it if you'd like or write it somewhere to remind you of this alignment. I'll add symbols to empower it even more. With my guidelines in place, now I'm going to drop the opacity and I'm going to handwrite the message myself using a script pen, which is under calligraphy. I have a streamline at about 75% and that's so that it's just a little bit smoother, but I still have quite a bit of control. And then the pressure I have at 50%. I'd like my upstroke to be a thinner line and my downstroke to be a little bit thicker line. So I'll be using less pressure as I upstroke and more pressure as I downstroke. I'm gonna be going very slowly. A lot of patience is required and my mind is going to get frustrated. You know, there will be moments where it will get impatient. It will not want me to keep redoing my letters, but this is where you exercise the observer in you. This is where you align with your genie because the genie is just observing and is pure awareness. And so you can be that as well. You don't need to latch on to what the mind is saying and let the mind take you for a ride. You can just let it be, let it chat away, but it doesn't affect you, what you're doing, you're in charge, and you can just gently bring it back and say, I'm having a great time. And you don't need to uh, let it run, run with you. You don't need to be identified with what your thoughts are saying. Let's begin by talking about the brain. You are not your brain. You may think you are because it too is powerful, but it's more like a computer that your genie is powering. It stores every experience, your feelings and impressions and is programmed to reuse that information. It's an expert at analyzing, judging, and is highly opinionated, but it's not who you really are. It has a huge hard drive, imagine, that has all kinds of storage. It stores every memory. A first step in leaning in toward your genie is becoming aware that the brain isn't you. We can be loving toward our brain smile at it, and even laugh at its tendencies. It loves to create images that scare us. It loves to be in the past or the future, but it really resists being present. Why? Because 
the genie is always in the present moment. It's always observing and right here, right now. It's the brain that wants to take us out of the present moment and take us into the past or into the future. So my brain happens to be super dramatic and I'm learning to have lots of compassion for its overactive thinking. The me that can do this is the genie. She is pure awareness. She is the observer, like I just said, and her energy goes where I place my attention. The brain's thinking is never personal, although it completely feels this way. It's just programmed based on everything that it knows. So to experience more joys and wishes that come true, we must connect with our inner being more. A first step would be if you're doing something fun, like making art and you're relaxed and in the flow, tell your genie, I want more of this. I love how this feels. This is awesome sitting here drawing. It feels good. When I travel, there is a running inner conversation about what I'm experiencing that goes something like this. Oh my gosh, you are so outdoing yourself. This is really special. Wow, that building is incredible. The details are outstanding. This vista takes my breath away. You are amazing. And I am so grateful to be creating this. I love this. More of this, please. On a walk in my neighborhood yesterday, I had a similar conversation about the new blossoms on the trees. When I do this, I know that it just fills my heart and my genie will then create more experiences like this. Whatever you get excited about, use it as an opportunity to direct your energy proactively. You could go for a walk on automatic pilot like I have done for years where I let the brain tells, tell me what I should be doing, where I let my brain complain about something in the past, or I've been judging something that is in my environment. I used to do this all the time. And I'm not hard on myself about it, I'm just changing my ways. And because in, if I were to be hard on my brain and resist it, it's only going to amplify what it's doing. So that's how we strengthen those uh, brain pathways is by uh, resisting it or feeling bad about it. So none of that really helps. The best thing to do is just smile and just direct your attention in a new way that's positive and uplifting for you. What I love about simple art projects is they are an opportunity to experience that easy flow. The brain is quiet for a while, not threatened by an art technique that might be intimidating, where it has the opportunity to compare itself to other people. So easy art projects are a way to practice talking to your genie. You might say, I love these colors. I love how drawing letters reminds me of learning handwriting. I love making the shapes of letters. You get the idea. This statement is a reminder to be present and to lean into your awareness whenever you are doing or saying or creating. It's a gentle reminder that your energy is going out exactly as you're doing, saying or creating and your genie is always saying yes. The simple act of appreciating has a ripple effect that extends into all areas of life. That's how powerful your inner being is. And you can have these inner talks about everything, even washing dishes. Gandhi said, be the change you want to see in the world. This means that if you want more joy or love or creativity in your experience, you have to embody these qualities more. You are the genie who has the power to do this. I'm so grateful for your attention. Thank you so much for watching. And if you subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. If you like this video or any of my other videos, I sure would appreciate a thumbs up. 
Thank you again, everyone. Happy creating. Have a wonderful week.